to a new vlog. It's Monday morning. I am here at the office. Ideally, I'd like to do the office. Um, we try to do two to three days a week. I think three is preferred. And I'd like to do like Monday, Tuesday, Thursdays, but things just haven't been working out of my energy lately. So Mondays have been a bit of a wash, but this weekend I do feel like I got really good rest and I'm here. So I'm happy about it. I'm wearing uh, this Durf Avenue cardigan, some rings, and then these are new. <laughs> is bare. These are new. I think they're called the Command Pant from Aritzia and they're just gorgeous. The fabric's amazing. They're on sale right now. The only thing is they're like a little bit short on me because I'm a tall girl. So I've got them with some boots but even then I think I need literally like one more inch for them to be perfect but it's totally fine. I love them. And the fabric, it's the same as the Vogue blazer I own in this same pattern and it's like just like thick and nice and feels really good. So anyway, I love those if you're looking for a dress pant. But yeah, it's Monday. We had a really nice weekend. We went camping. What did we do? We went and sat in the river, honestly, for like four hours or something. When we got there, we just like went down to the river. We were swimming in a part that's like a little deeper. And then we found a part of the stream where it was like less dirty. And we just like sat there and had some drinks, hung out, listened to music. It was just a really good time. I also got a new phone. So let me know if this looks any better. It's, I had the iPhone 11 and this is the 14. And I had the option to pay a little more and get like the 14 Pro or whatever it is. And I decided not to do it, but now I kind of regret it. Cause to me, I'm like, doesn't this look the same? So let me know if you notice any difference at all, but I'm pretty sure it's the same. Uh, so we'll carry on. I came back yesterday and I had a ton of editing to do. I'm actually not finished, so I have to do a little bit more tonight, um, but it's okay. We only recorded on Friday. Our schedule's a little off, so I'm editing like what we recorded on Friday, and usually I record like a week out. I'm gonna head in today. Hopefully it's a really good day. I have a few pressing things that I need to write or get written really quick, which feels a little stressful, but it will be fine once I just do it. Um, I didn't bring lunch, so I'll have to go hunt for a lunch today. Probably go grab a coffee at some point. I don't see anybody else parked. There's one, so there might be like one or two people here, but we'll see if more people come in and yeah. Hello, I'm midway through the day. It's been going good. I've been doing lots of writing and I've actually been like in a pretty good flow, which I actually did a podcast with my client last week about attention and getting into a flow actually like replenishes your energy apparently and focus depletes it. So I've been trying to prioritize how I can do that. Now I'm going to go find a little snack. Hello, it's like three something and I'm having a little bit of a lapse of attention. I've been in a really good focus all day and I've been getting tons done, but I'm having a little bit of a lull. So I'm gonna drive home. Traffic gets so bad in this area at like 5 p.m. So anytime I have like an opportunity to sneak out a little bit early, it's really helpful. Then I will finish things up there. I'm also kind of like in between on a couple things where I either need people to send me stuff in the next few minutes. I'm waiting on a revision like for, from a writer, for example little things like that so off we go that might seem like no time has passed for you but it's been a few hours i finished up the work day everything's groovy um i also had about 20 minutes after work to just get started on my freelance which actually just turned into me freeing up computer storage for 20 minutes uh but i got it sorted so i was able to line up my video and my audio and then i had to scoot because i've got my chiropractor appointment now, um, I'm like 15 minutes early. Who am I? Um, it never happens. And then I don't know if we have a plan for dinner. I might make this like clam mushroom pasta sauce. Ben has Chinese food, so I'm, I think he's fine, but I wanna make a little meal. And then there was something else I was going to tell you. Oh, I don't know if I actually like talked about my phone upgrade. So I upgraded from the 11 to the 14. I told you that camera to me seems the same so I probably maybe should have gone for the pro I don't know whatever I'm not I'm not like a phone person <laughs> um, but anyway I upgraded and beforehand I was paying $55 a month plus my like device which was like 30 something dollars a month for three gigs of data and this new phone with the plan is the exact same price and I get 30 gigs of data 
which is like absolutely wild. I'm using Virgin if anybody's looking um, and I just highly recommend going in if you're up on your plan or even if you're like up in a couple months, it might be worth just going because for me, I was paying like $40 extra every month because I would use more than my three gigs. I'd use like four and I think I was charged something like, I don't know, I was charged like 20 to $30 a gigabyte or something. I was scammed. I was getting scammed. And they even said they were like, oh, this is such an old plan. And I'm like, it's not though, because it expires this month. Like this is my two year right now. It's the end of my contract. So the fact that in two years, the amount of data you can get for the same price has 10 times <laughs> is like wild. So anyway, if you're looking and you're like me and you like don't really know a whole lot about phone plans um, and you're not up on it, Go check it out because I didn't realize things had gotten so much better and it's kind of like reassuring that maybe there's a future where our phone plans aren't the worst in the world but anyway I'm just excited about that and I've been enjoying just using the internet everywhere today but because of that I'm kind of like how quickly am I gonna burn through this I'm like watching YouTube videos like walking around <laughs> listening to them while I go on a walk like we'll see but anyway Good morning. I noticed today my neck is very, very bruised from the little procedure I got. And it was supposed to only be like a one to two day recovery. It's been a full week. So I hate that for me. But anyway, <laughs> it's feeling better. It's just looking a little rough. I didn't get strangled. It was from a procedure. If you're looking at that and you're like, what the fuck? Um, anyway. It's Tuesday morning. We have lots of podcast stuff today. A full episode to record. I also have to record some like intros because we've decided to add a little outro to the show. It'll just make it end a little cleaner. And then we also have a sponsorship to film. So that is exciting as well. But I'm going to film a quick little outfit video. Got this beautiful wall here makes it easy and then I'll go in it's a beautiful day I'm wearing this little pleated skirt poppy barley shoes it's just a tank top from winners and we will go from there gonna get worse so I'm gonna head home to wrap up today while there's a little interlude so I didn't bring any appropriate clothing for a storm we got a ton done today we had a full podcast episode for our hosts to record so they did that it was actually really really good not actually it just it was really really good and we also did some ad read planning and just got those recorded, outros, everything's looking really good. We also look like we're kind of finalized up on what our episodes are gonna be. We're looking for one more guest and we've got a launch date. So feeling really good, the show is coming along um, and that's great. And then other tasks are tasking. <laughs> <laughs> that's the vibe. I'm messaging with one of my friends right now because we're trying to figure out some time where we could do like a ballet drop-in this month and I thought I'd be like going every week but kind of as I know about myself if I don't have something scheduled that I have to go to I'm unlikely to go um, and I'm already finding it hard to want to give up like a free evening to go to a drop-in of something or I have like my chiro appointments and so those nights I'm like do I really want to go to an appointment and then go home and then go back out so I'm probably not going to do any ballet this month. I don't know. I'd like to go to the gym. I really feel like I need to get going back to the gym and like running, <laughs> like getting my cardio on, but we will just see. Okay, I'm going to try to get out of here before rush hour starts so I can go home, finish up the work day. I've got two more hours and then that's the vibe. This is the first run. I've already done 14 minutes. Let's keep it up. Go 
Good morning. It's Thursday and it's another rainy day. What did I do yesterday? Cairo. Worked. I was at home so I didn't vlog because my apartment just like the lighting's not good. It just feels kind of pointless to just film like really bad, really bad lighting all the time. Uh, but I do feel like, ooh, now I feel like there's something I'm supposed to remember. Couldn't tell ya. <laughs> Couldn't tell ya. Today's gonna be interesting. I have meetings basically straight from 10 a.m. until 4 p.m. Just a lot in a day. So we'll just see how she goes. I'm still kind of bruised and I tried to put a little makeup on, but it didn't really work. I'm gonna go take a little outfit video. I feel very cute, very girly today, and I was thinking about how, like, growing up, my parents didn't really, like, care about what we wore or anything, but in my house, both my mom and my sister, like, wouldn't really describe themselves as girly. My mom's into fashion, and she loved clothes, but she's not, like, pink and blonde and, like, likes that whole thing. She was more, like, into funky kind of stuff, and then my sister's, like, not into it at all. Um, I have a sister and a brother, by the way. I don't know if I've ever mentioned that. For those of you who don't know, I'm the middle child, <laughs> if you can't tell. But anyway, I was just thinking about how, like, I really embraced my masculine side growing up, and I wouldn't consider myself necessarily, like, a tomboy or whatever, but I just felt like I always wanted to dress more to that funky side, um, more kind of neutral. And it wasn't until I remember like grade nine, I started getting into like preppy clothes um, and I started buying like polo t-shirts and like some different things. But then at that time, the style kind of changed to being that like scene kid, whatever. And I got really into that and would be wearing like bright skinny jeans and like bandanas in my hair and like all kinds of stuff. So it was always like very fun but I never felt like I got to kind of embrace the like really feminine curly side of me. So I'm doing that now in my life, I'm realizing, but just in like my way, like a pink coat or like pink mug. My computer is pink. Um, I don't wear a lot of like super, I guess, feminine clothes per se. Like today I'm wearing like a long sleeve shirt and like baggy pants, but I feel like in my own way, I'm just embracing that. And I was thinking today, I was like, oh, that's cool that I feel like I can embrace that side um yeah i don't know i'd be curious like how you grew up i want to hear about your style evolution let me know if you if you're my age if you're in your like late 20s or early 30s did you fall into the whole scene kid emo thing because i just feel like like it was an era it was very very interesting it's better look So this is just one of the Aritzia coaches jacket. Uh, black shirt is the go-to long sleeve from Wilfred. Pants are Banana Republic versus Lululemon. Nespresso mug. That's the deal. The producers have matched today. Oh. Hey. <laughs> Well, like, hello. Oh. It's the end of the work day. As you can see, I'm the last one here. I stayed a little late today because it's like 5.15. I've got a, a friend I'm meeting for food at 5.30 in the area. So I figured I'd stay around. I've been um, reviewing and approving some final kind of podcast assets for our upcoming season. Um, and it's looking really, really good. I'm very excited. This is like the most robust, beautifully done podcast project that I've been a part of in a very long time. So I'm very excited that it's so well thought out and just like looks so good and we've got great guests, but let's see. It is ridiculously smoky out. It's ugly. I have a bit of a headache. Um, so I just took some Advil. Don't love that, but... What are we gonna do? I mean, my friend at a place that's known for like nachos, and that just sounds perfect right now. That sounds delicious, and um, I think that's kind of it. Podcast 
podcast recording today. I've gone for the soup. This is the Vogue blazer from Maritzia and then the command pants. Mine, you can see they were sewn a little crooked. So the fly looks a little funny, but I might get it fixed. Mm, cute. Hey. Me and my suit say hello. I just finished podcast recording. We went two Fridays in a row and I do feel like this time I was like zoning out a little bit more. I think I just didn't drink enough water, honestly. Throw back to my water challenge. And um, yeah, but otherwise it was really good. And it's always just so fascinating to hear what my client's doing with his business because it's so neat. I have like 30 Slack messages to go through right now. Most of them are just things for me to be aware of, not stuff to do. But I do have some email stuff to finish up when I go back. So I'm gonna get right to that. And then the episodes we recorded today are super long. Like they were each like over an hour. So it's just gonna take a really long time to go through them. This weekend we're not gonna camp so that we can start on that a little sooner. And I need to, I'm getting my hair done tomorrow, but I also need to just like sleep in and get a little rest. But I'm gonna hope to use this weekend to just like get as much audio mastered as I can. All right, there's truly so many people around me right now. So I'll catch you outside. I think I might go do a little mooch around Winners. I haven't gone in there in a very, very long time. And I'm feeling it. I think it's time I show you what I got from the Aritzia clientele sale. Okay, so pause this vlog. I'm pausing this vlog for a second to show you some of the pieces I got. Most of these I've worn already because things came in over the last couple of weeks, so I'll insert some photos where I've got them. Um, first for the command pants, I'll show you. I won't show you well, but I'll show you. <laughs> I've got some videos and photos of these. I have the matching Vogue blazer, which made it make the most sense to buy this exact pattern because now I have a suit and I feel really cute being a girl with a suit and I know that's not like anything but I've never had one so it just feels really cute. You know I love the coaches jackets. I especially love them for ballet, going to the gym, going for walks in the winter, camping, all of that good stuff and I've really wanted this color for a long time and in the shorter style, um, well the mid-length style, they're short kind of regular and then long. I have a long one in navy, but the mid-size one, mid-rise one I have is bright red and sometimes that just doesn't go with the vibe. So I got this baby pink one and it's perfect. It's like a big marshmallow. I've also worn this, so I'll try to insert something, uh, but it's just, they're amazing. They're my favorite coats and I just think they're worth every penny. They last so long, they're beautiful, they're very warm. Um, and you can squish them down. Like they just, they're just perfect. So if you haven't grabbed one, I'd recommend grabbing one, whether it's from the sale or the next one. This one might be done by the time I post this, but keep your eye on those because they're just like such a staple piece. I usually get them so that they're like pretty oversized, but I saw they changed the sizing recently and I just grabbed my regular like medium. And I'd say it gives me that oversized fit that I would want. So I probably wouldn't go for another size. So I'd say pretty true to size, um, but yeah, they're just amazing. The pink is great. I feel like it's gonna be so cute for ballet. That's it. Um, these I grabbed two of because they were about half price. They're the TNA sweat fleece, cozy fleece, boyfriend fit. It's like the polo. And I had one in white that I used to wear and I absolutely loved it. And then I accidentally dyed it all blue in the wash and I've tried so many things to change it and get it back to being white. But now the fabric's kind of ruined for me trying all these sprays on it. Anyway, I'm just not thrilled about that. So they were a good price and I was like, fuck it. I'll just get one, another one in the white. So I did grab that. And then I also got the black one. So this is the white. They're just perfect. Um, this is an extra large. And then I figured, while I'm here, got the black because I will get just so much wear out of those and they look cute. I mentioned that I have the Vogue blazer in this fabric. The Vogue blazer is like a very oversized, super boxy, not like short, but just to your hip kind of length blazer. 
Um, and I feel like it kind of nods to like the 70s and the oversized, well, maybe the 80s, like the huge shoulder pads. But what I've actually found is when I first tried it on, I was like, ooh, like why would I do such big shoulder pads? Like my shoulders aren't that big, it's gonna look weird. But when I look back at any sort of photos of me wearing it or videos, I feel like the oversized shoulder really actually balances out my length and the fact that I do have like a bigger bottom than top with my body. So I actually really, really like that silhouette on me. I find a smaller blazer, I'm actually like feeling like it makes me look really outdated and it just doesn't look current or interesting. So I love the Vogue blazers. Um, so they are pricey. So I took advantage of clientele to grab one and honestly they were kind of selling out anyway. But the one, the one I have um, is the silvery kind of gray stripe. This is the black wool. It says it's wool. I mean, it doesn't feel like a wool coat, but it just feels like a, not a typical blazer fabric. It's something like a little thicker, you know? Um, but I just got a black one. Perfect, easy. Haven't worn this yet. This one just came in. Um, and I like the proportions on it are super fun. The sizing I think for those was different too. So this was a medium. Yeah, they're originally like $250 and I think they were on sale for 110 or something. Um, so yeah beautiful quality piece. It's gonna last. You can get like tripped up in Aritzia buying a lot of things that just like honestly aren't that nice and aren't gonna last that long. But if you do buy the pieces that people, rude. If you do buy the pieces people swear by who shop there, then I just don't think you'll be disappointed. I think the pieces you have will last and you will see why so many people shop there. Okay, last couple things. This one just came in. I need to try it on. Um, this is called Chill Rise. It's just in black. It's a little sports bra. And then this was kind of the one thing I bought that was more of like a fun gamble. These other things, like sweatshirts, jacket that I already know I like, blazer I already know I like, you know, none of those were really like a risk. They were just taking advantage of the prices. This was something that is different for me and it's kind of fun. Um, and it's this little number. She's silky. It's a silver, but it's almost a warmer silver, I want to say. Like, there's a little something else to it. And it's just so fun. I just love it. I think that that's so cute with all the silver jewelry I wear now. I could put, you could wear it without a bra. You could put a little something under it. Just really cute. It's called Tonka, and this is in the color Ashen. Anyway, it doesn't have any snags. It didn't come with any threads. It's not like the, it's just, it's nice. It's not shitty. So that's everything I got from the Aritzia clientele sale. I'd love to know what you got if you picked anything up. Um, I'm just really excited about all those pieces. They all work with kind of the colors I'm going for in my wardrobe right now. And I've already worn a lot of the pieces and love them. So I'm really excited. I was most excited probably to add these pants because today getting to wear that like full suit look just felt really cute. And um, I just love a coordinated set as we know. Okay, I have one more thing to show you. You saw I just went to Winners. I have needed um, a different duffel bag. I have the Bays one, but I kind of fucked up when I bought it. And I bought the one that I thought you could zip off the bottom part for shoes, but you can't. So it's super bulky. It's actually honestly really annoying. And I'm gonna try to sell it. And I wanted something that could fold up potentially so that I could bring it to Italy or on other trips. Um, and it'll just make my life easier, honestly, having something less structured. So I, it's just been in the back of my mind, but I haven't seen anything. And then I saw this like Kipling bag. And it's amazing. It's got like zip pouches here, but they also snap open. It's massive inside. The handles are, they're not like padded, but they're braided, which is kind of nice. You know, they're gonna last. Kipling is a brand everybody knows. Um, and it can scrunch up. So it will be beautiful. So we're bringing um, our carry-ons to Italy, but we also are, do have room for a checked bag. So, I just thought this gave me options. There's two things in here. One is my neck cream. I am an old lady and <laughs> I used to go to tanning beds and I got a lot of sun damage, particularly on my neck and on my chest. Um, so I'm very paranoid about that area as you've probably heard me talk about. Uh, and so this is really for people who are older, I think, or who have a lot of damage, but I feel like 
who cares? The sooner the better. I started using eye cream when I was like 18. So this is the neck cream concentrate for the neck and decolletage. Um, it's this massive box. It's fucking small. It's like one ounce when you get down to it, 1.4 ounces. And this was $30, but it's normally 60 or more. So if I see these at Winners, I'll pick one up once in a while. That's my second one right now. Okay, and then this is random, but I've been on this like 70s vibe. And aren't those so cute? I never would have like looked for something like this online. And maybe it seems a little weird, but I'm like, they are so cute. With little shorts this summer, or even like my flares, or just pants like going into fall. I just think those are really sweet. And they only had them in like a size six and a size 10. And right now I have like swollen feet <laughs> and the 10 foot meat, so I'm going with it. But they're really nice. They're leather, they're super cushiony, like really, really cushiony. It feels like memory foam in there. Um, so I yeah, those are really cute. And that is that all, y'all. That is everything new around here. We can return to our regular vlogging now. Okay, I'm gonna quickly show you my outfit and I'm gonna run. I don't love the pants, but I love them from the back. Okay, I like the color, I like the length, they're beautiful. Makeup looks a little intense, I might tone that down. Uh, they're beautiful, but I hate the knee rips. I feel like knee rips had like a minute in 2020 and we all kind of went back in that direction and then they've been gone again. So when I ordered these, I don't know what I was thinking, <laughs> but I do like them otherwise, I'm gonna wear them. Um, and I feel like it's a Saturday, it's kind of like fine for casual errands, whatever. But then this top I wanted to show you, it's like a Skims dupe that I found from the US Amazon um, and I'll try to link it. I feel like it's really comfy. This is, I think, a medium. Uh, and I love the color. I like the fit. I can't tell if I would maybe go smaller so that there's less ruching, but I'm also wearing like the worst bra right now. I can't, <laughs> I've been able to find any of my bras for weeks. So I've been wearing old ones. Uh, but yeah, obviously the hair just looks like crap right now because I'm going to go get it done, but I tried to do my bangs. I really want all this like brown gone. I'm tired of it. I don't like that when I put my hair up, it's like 90% brown. So I'm gonna see if we can like focus on that today. I'm gonna get my bangs like fixed cause I've been trimming them. And then these like side chunks, I don't know what I've been doing. I've just been going at it. <laughs> so I'm sure she'll love to hear that. And then I'm gonna go tone down this blush. My neck, like the bruise, no joke. I feel like it's getting worse. And then I'm getting this huge like boil so having a bad time with that but hopefully it will heal this weekend because it's like been two weeks now of it just looking like i have a giant hickey on my neck and makeup doesn't cover it and i don't know enough about color correcting to get rid of green i don't have anything red so whatever let's go okay here's your before pretty blonde lots of brown i'm literally somewhere in the south but it was just off the highway, so easy for my directionally challenged self to find. <laughs> Love it. Here's the after. Blonde, 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 blonde. <gasps> Yay, she always kills it, did an amazing job. We also did this kind of beigey blonde is what she called it um which i really like i think it's um a little less warm than what we did last time but it's gonna go like it's gonna like match with clothes a lot better and i feel like i've been buying all this like baby pink and this is gonna really like look cute so yeah i have to go to the mall now because i have a couple of returns to make i've never gone so i'm down by south center mall and i've never gone to it maybe once like when I first moved here. So I'm not gonna know my way around, but hopefully it won't be too long. In like a pretty annoying turn of events, this mall does not have a Zara. Okay, we are at Chinook Mall. Very exciting. Um, I've gotta go get these returns done. I'm actually like, just kind of assuming they're in my trunk right now. Couldn't tell you 100%.
I got this um, lip trap when I was in Vegas. It's just like a Vaseline one, but I've never seen it here and it's so good. So if any of you know, if you can buy that in Canada, let me know. I think Ben and I are gonna go out to dinner tonight, which is exciting. I do have a lot of freelance to do, so I'm like a little bit stressed that it's like, almost like, it's like five on a Sunday or Saturday and I haven't even started when I was thinking I'd like get some so much done this weekend. So that's like obviously not gonna happen, but I'm just gonna do what I can do. Like it's not my fault that we missed like a recording week and now I'm behind, but it doesn't make it any less stressful, you know? Like I never want to be a bad, I don't wanna like provide a bad service to my clients. So I do what I can, but I also need to like not give myself some grace. tonight is between the wheel expert and the Rona. Hey. <laughs> We've been told this is really good, but I don't know. <laughs> Happy Sunday. It's an editing day. Hello, I'm back in my robe. <laughs> it's Sunday evening. I've been podcast working all day and came into the kitchen. Ben's got some beef on the go. Some stuff here for Taco Bell. So we're gonna make those. Apparently there's some new Black Mirror. We're gonna watch that. And otherwise, that's the end of this one. Hope you enjoyed watching and hanging out. Thank you so much for being here. Please hit subscribe if you haven't. Um, and what would really help if you wanna help me with my channel would be to check out another video. So there's tons of playlists on my page if you like fashion or you just like vlogs like this. Um, there's even travel videos. So. Find what you like and I will see you here again next week. Bye!